Okay, so uh, who wrote a letter of recommendation for you? Uh, my high school principal actually wrote my letter of recommendation. Wow. Yeah. Plus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the main reason for it was because I was involved in many of the school activities like preparing for events like Teacher's Day, Children's Day, and our recognition day is basically our graduation day. So we had like the students organize everything and I was part of it. So we used to work with our high school principal. So he saw everything. So I thought that he was the best person mm -hmm, to have. Yeah. Yeah, impressive. Yeah, the title wise, you know, and she know about you. Yeah. For a, he he has known about you for a long time, so he knows what to write. So. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. That's true. But most of them do not have a good connection with like those higher ups. That's true. And but in your case, that, that I have, you know. Because I, I don't know, it was it was just amazing. I couldn't have found the best person to write it other than him. And actually he did tell me that he received the call oh. about the scholarship. Now I have no idea if it was NID or if, uh, or if it was one of the universities that called him because he didn't tell me anything. He just said that, okay. oh, I received the call. And they were asking about you, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> they actually yeah. called your principal. Yeah, they can. They can. Oh, it happens. Yeah. 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 Actually, yeah. Uh, 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 there's contact number on the yeah, phone. Yeah. Contact and email of email. Uh, email. He, they probably emailed him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. Did you say thank you? <laughs> Oh, I did. I did. And I told him, listen, I got this. Thanks to you. <laughs> Send him some kimchi. <laughs> I will. <laughs> but it's expensive. DHL, oof. <laughs> oh, that's right. Especially the during the uh, pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. Price went up a lot. Yeah. All right. Cool. And uh, so uh, did he... So you, did you make a, did you have to make a draft for him or did he just uh, wrote it at once? Um, I did write about all the activities that I did in school because even though we have a close relationship, he doesn't know everything, you know, I because know, right? yeah, because our school was once big. But then since there was a misunderstanding between the higher ups, it split in two. So the one that remained was the one with the original name, but then a new one was formed. So I went into the new branch. So everything is still, was still new and everything. So that's how we were still able to have like a close relationship with our principal. So I just wrote a, dra a draft on what the activities that I've been in school mm -hmm. and then the rest he got it from some teachers and his personal experience by viewing the students me in this case <laughs> actually you yeah cool and how long did it take to get it from him well of about three days you know three days pretty fast yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty fast. Because he already had like some info on what to put on the letter of recommendation, so right. that's kind of fast. Mm -hmm. And um, so so you said you had you had a lot of uh, extracurricular activities. Some, yes. Some or many. <laughs> yeah. So mostly volunteer experiences. Uh yes, they are. So. Most of them was basically required on organizing school events. And so on Children's Day, we used to have an inside school kind of festival, but then we also had like funding for uh, orphans. So 
basically this involved us students in the managing sector to collect uh, goods that students would offer. So, you know, something, stuff that can be reusable or new products and everything to offer to the orphans. So such activities and plus yeah. I made sure that I was, you know, class president for like three Whoa. years in a row. Yeah. Three years in a row. Yeah. yeah. So no wonder, yeah. no wonder you're outstanding. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just a regular child. No. <laughs> regular. <laughs> That's so regular. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, many studying Korea dreamers actually have uh, asked me about what kind of extracurricular activities are outstanding, are very attractive to the NIID. Ah. Can you recommend one? Well, let me list down some of the things that I did. And you will see that from a from a surface perspective, it yeah. has nothing to do with my major. So first off, I was a class president and I joined music club in my school. I also did one year of piano outside in a music school. And what? Uh, the other ones include like the managing of school events and everything. Mm -hmm. So so far from all of those things intellectually there isn't much to gain from it but personally for me to actually recognize your extracurricular activities as small as it could be even if it's from a music club or everything you need to write about what you learn from it so what wow. did you learn from learning piano, right? You didn't just learn how to play piano, but you learned yeah. some skills. Like you learned how to concentrate, multitask with both hands, and yeah. focus and notice any change or mm -hmm. a mismatching note or something like that. So the experiences right. from your daily life, let it be being an older sister, managing your siblings, or I don't know, anything. What you learn from those simple tests will cover up as an extracurricular activity and you're good to go. It's you know? actually, uh, that's actually a good point. Yeah. Yeah. What's more important is not uh, what you did, actually, but what you learn from it. What you learn from it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then tell them in writing or verbally during yeah. the interview. Yes. There you go. Yeah, very good tip. Thank you. Yeah, so I hope I hope people watching now don't miss this part. Yeah, it's very important. Yeah, I've had people uh, text me on Facebook about personal statement, your personal statement. But I'll leave that for the interview part. I'll leave that uh, for right. the next part of this video. So keep watching, stay, everyone. Stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All righty. Okay. And um, let's talk about the GTS interview. Yes. Yeah, please tell me more about it here. Okay. Uh, did you have an online or in-person interview? It was online, but I don't know if we can consider this online because it was through a phone call. <laughs> Well, it's still online. Yeah, it yeah. It you didn't have an interview in person, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, did you have an one-on-one -on -one interview? Yes, it was a one-on-one, -on -one, but I felt like there were more people on the other side. You know, oh. I don't know how many. He definitely told me how many, but I forgot because I was nervous. You know. Okay. <laughs> but there were people over there. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the background, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then how long was the interview? Five to seven minutes. Wait, no. Mm -hmm. Seven to ten minutes because I speak a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because you have a lot to say. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, a lot to say, definitely. Uh, and how was the atmosphere during the interview? Uh... Well, in the beginning, I was very 
nervous because people don't get interviews all the time so you never know what to say but uh i realized that because they were korean they mm. and due to the you know due to english you know they were also kind of yeah. you know yeah. like they're nerve yeah they must yeah, be nervous, nervous uh, speaking yeah. english exactly so i was like you know what both of us are nervous you know nervous. So why not i allow myself a tip a tip is i allow mm. myself to be nervous bling, for bling. 30 seconds and after that i just dive in because you already started the interview there's no going back you know uh. so might as well just dive straight into it and then what's done is just, done yeah just face it yeah hmm so after 30 seconds you're fine yes after th after 30 seconds and those 30 seconds was about introducing myself because they asked me okay so introduce yourself so i was like okay damn it i'm gonna be nervous while introducing myself but you know what after this i'll make sure you understand my point okay <laughs> yeah and uh <laughs> after that you are a diva yes yes katie in the building <laughs> yeah of course so uh did you uh introduce yourself in english i uh, know i told you that i was doing a course at Yonsei University from like first step Korean. So I learned how to introduce myself, even though my Korean was basic. So the first thing that I told them was, listen, I don't know how to speak Korean properly, but I want to introduce myself in Korean. So bear with me. Wait. I told them that. And then I introduced myself in Korean. And then I said, okay, now I'm switching back to English. <laughs> and then I need to be continued like that. Oh my god. Nice, nice. Very smooth. Yeah. Uh, and do you remember some interview questions you received? Oh yeah. So one of the questions that they asked was what my major was and like what my major actually was. Like so I had to introduce them my major. And then Oh, uh, like in high school did you have a major? Oh, no, no, no. They asked me what, like, the major that I wanted to do in Korea. Oh, oh, okay. For a bachelor's program. Okay. For my bachelor's program. So then they asked me to introduce the major, which was very shocking. But, Ooh. and yeah, and then they asked me why I chose Korea to do my major. Yeah. What did you answer? So, well, uh, in the beginning, I said, you know, I'm doing industrial engineering, right? I said, I actually said, right, because I was confused because they have the documents. They know. Why are yeah. they asking? Me? But then they're like, we want to make sure you actually know what you're going to study there. And I was like, OK, OK. So I did tell them that I kind of like working with people, but I also love science. So mm -hmm. instead of just going to business and I love math, so i chose industrial engineering and i explained them that well industrial engineering is you can go search in google i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh but it's basically oh, yeah how can i explain business yeah. management but in science because mm -hmm. you're studying the managing of systems and people and everything you're mm -hmm. yeah you're and, in and, and and why korea, why what did you, korea? Uh, how do you answer them yeah. well i told them that personally i want to get inside the tech the world of technology and where else would i go other than the hardcore the it of the world in korea IT. Oh, yeah korea. that's right you got it you got it yeah, yeah like, you got the point I don't need to look far. Korea. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so and what are some tips to ace an interview? Like I said in the beginning, allow yourself to be nervous. We're all humans and they understand. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. at least in my point of view, they will understand that right. you're nervous. A lot of yourself to be nervous for 30 seconds. And mm -hmm. after that, you have already fallen into the pit. So might as well free dive, you know? So yeah. just fake being, if you're not extroverted, fake being extroverted. If you're not confident, <laughs> fake the confidence and you're going to get there. Definitely. Mm -hmm. But also definitely prepare some questions in advance potential questions because you never know what they could ask of course of prepared, course right? mm -hmm. yeah yeah but uh but make sure not to memorize all of them yeah, oh, then yeah. you you'll definitely sound like a robot i i told yes. uh our studying career dreamers in one of our videos actually mm -hmm. yeah don't be a robot but be human let it flow for all mm -hmm. human yeah i mean you can it's okay you can make some mistakes here and there sure. they understand yeah yes but they will. The, the yeah you, you don't have to be perfect but be fluent mm -hmm. true mm. that's true great uh and uh did did the three universities you, you chose interview as well only daegu university interviewed me daegu. yes why and listen they were the first university to contact me out of all three universities. Oh. So when I got contacted by Daegu and I saw that I was going to have an interview, I thought I would be having an interview with Essen and Yonsei, and I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the interview with Daegu University was quite good. Well, basically, good. they introduced the university and they asked me if I had any questions about my major and they introduced me they spoke to me about the life in Daegu University like the internships and everything that is possible there mm -hmm. and it was more about a Q&A question about them informing me more about the university and making me comfortable the marketing was on point you know <laughs> great yeah what's funny is uh you you chose snu over daegu yes. but you're now you're now in a daegu university for your language school program i know right listen i thought i was being punished for not choosing daegu university i, I was know. like this is not a coincidence and I was so scared. I was like, maybe they'll recognize me and be like, listen, you didn't accept yeah, how them? dare you? That's how why we, you? <laughs> we had you here, we have you here on campus. I was so scared. Very, very scared. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness you're still alive. Yes, thank goodness. They haven't killed me yet. <laughs> All right, uh, let's talk about entry to South Korea and self-quarantine, yes. uh, as well as life in Korea. So how long did it take to receive a visa after being selected for GKS? Uh, four to five days. Pretty not, fast. Yeah, pretty fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and how much did it cost to uh, arrive in Korea uh, in U.S. dollars? Uh... Well, to arrive, everything was paid for mm -hmm. because, Airfare, yeah, yeah Visa. because they pay. But to live here, because, well, need tells you in advance that you need to prepare, like, some sort of cash for the first two months, right? So yeah. depending on where you're going, but here in Daegu so far, I think if you prepare a solid six hundred dollars should should be okay for two months for yeah for for if yeah because you're not going to go crazy you know i know it's korea but don't go crazy on the first month <laughs> <laughs> i know yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but uh the thing is the niid will give you uh monthly allowances right yeah well because uh it's there are too many i don't know why actually so let me not even try to explain but for the first two months you might not get the allowance right 
So for us in Daegu, it just took us one month, right? Mm -hmm. So in that one month, you need to use your own pocket money that you bring from home. So because of that, if you prepare solid 600, you'll be able to survive. After that month, though, they're going to reimburse you for those days. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, it's because because uh, it took some time for for each university to get uh, students' money yes. from the NIAD. True. Yeah, and that's why mm -hmm. has, they have to make a bank, and you know it takes time to make a bank account. So yeah, they can only make a bank account after having their uh, alien alien registration card. Yes. Yes. Yeah, those admin work, uh, yeah, actually drags them down. Yes, that's true. So that's why it's good to prepare some some money, as you said, like six, about six hundred U.S. dollars. Yes. Yeah, for those days, but but don't forget uh, all the money you spend uh, for 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 two months, a month or two, will be yeah. definitely reimbursed. So yes. Yeah, but just to survive, you need some money. Right. Yes. 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 Okay. And uh, what are must-bring items to Korea? Oh, wait! I made a list. Hold on. Where oh. are you? Okay. So. Did you make a dissertation? <laughs> yes. Yes. I need. Listen. If I had this information, I would have been done for. Okay. So oh. let me share some of this information. Everyone's very important. Okay. So depending on the season that you that you will be arriving in Korea, mm. bring clothes for that. Don't waste time on average clothes like for all seasons. Focus on that one season. So I came here in winter, but yeah. I focused on what spring clothes, not spring, but like autumn clothes. So when I oh. came here, I almost froze to that. Listen, oh. I almost froze. Okay, you wouldn't have been seeing me here, but okay. So, uh, although Korea have, they have like their type of food, like their cuisine might be yeah. different for some countries. So yeah. for some specific seasonings, bring it from home. If you can bring it for any, it's possible. You can, okay. you can come here with that. Oh, but don't bring too much that they, you know, that you'll be stopped at the airport, but okay. Yeah. You can bring seasonings. Just focus um, on one season and bring some seasonings, right? Yeah, seasonings like food seasonings. Yeah, food seasonings, yeah, for food. And then some of your hair products, if you can bring that, bring that too. But that's that's only because in your first month, you won't be able to go out to shops a lot because you still don't know where they are, you know? Oh, so yeah. bring stuff. To avoid having to go outside because you still you're still learning about where Daiso is, where you know Costco is, you know. So, E-Mart is where yeah, Home Plus is. Exactly. <laughs> so until you find those things, make sure you bring stuff that will not make you have to rush and ask someone where Daiso is. So yeah. another thing is if you have electronics like computer or like an iPad just bring it you know because i had some friends that said that oh i left it back home but i regret not bringing it well i brought mine so just so you don't regret if you're thinking about it then just bring it you know and another thing is shoes bring shoes. those mm -hmm. shoes don't forget about shoes because many people bring clothes but not shoes and if you don't have space just bring neutral shoes like white and black Good, simple, and comfortable shoes. All and right. then second, home snacks. You're going to crave it when you arrive. Home Korea snack. has crazy snacks. Delicious they are, but you will crave home snacks because yeah. Korean snacks are just different. They're delicious right. and different. So yeah. second thing is beddings. So like mm. beach and everything. You don't need to bring the heavy type, but just bring the, you know, the bed yeah. dressing yeah mm -hmm. so bring i think two, once yeah yeah two it's okay or yeah yeah 
for my girls out there, your personal hygiene items, bring that. Because again, you will not know where Daiso is in the first place. Oh, month. yeah, exactly. So you need to bring that, you know, your skincare products and everything, bring it. And I guess, um, I guess that's all. Hmm. Yeah, by the way, uh, Daiso, everyone, is, is kind of a dollar shop yeah, in Korea. So you can buy uh, stuff for a reasonable price. Yes. Yeah. So, but you don't know where it is uh, when you first yeah. come here. So, yeah, bring some items that you're familiar with. So, exactly. don't forget, everybody. All right. Uh, uh, how long did you self quarantine? For seven days a week. Yeah. A week. Okay. And actually, uh, sh it got shortened. Yeah, from fourteen days. Yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. my roommate is a GKSG that just arrived. Oh, 14 days. He didn't quarantine at all. Oh, really? Yeah, like she. When she, did she, she arrive? Came, like she came from the airport into the room, and I was like, "Oh." When did she, she arrive? Uh, I still don't remember the day. Did it she arrive recently? Nice. Yeah, she arrived recently. In uh, recently, okay. In August, and okay. Home. Yeah, things have changed now yeah now they don't have to self-quarantine anymore yeah yeah well things got better they sure did mm -hmm. and um where did you self-quarantine i self-quarantine in daejeon and is it Chongdo? i still Chongdo. Chongdo. Chongdo? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, Chongdo no. is a different city yes it is a different city it's in Daejeon and it starts with Chong, but I Chong? don't know where. Are you talking of the name of the quarantine facility? No, 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 no. The actual pro it's not a province, it's the place, you know? It's in Daejeon. Daejeon? That's all you need to know. That was in Daejeon. <laughs> Chung, Chung Namdo, Chung Chung, Chung Chung province. I think so. I think that Chung one. Nam yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that Did was it, yeah. Did you self quarantine at a, at a hotel? Uh, it wasn't necessarily a hotel. It was a like a hostel. Like hostel? a one room? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. How do you explain okay. one room? Yeah. Studio apartment. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. How was the food? Quarantine food. Um, when I arrived, I didn't want to eat any pork, so I just told them that I don't eat pork. It, and if you guys don't eat, be sure to tell them. So the food was okay. <laughs> repetitive? No, 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 it wasn't repetitive. It was actually changing. Actually, yeah, it was like I didn't eat the same food the, all the time. Like they okay. changed it all the time. Of course, the kimchi was always there. <laughs> mm. But it wasn't the same yeah. meal. meal. Yeah. So it was, okay. it was fine. Yeah. yeah, can't complain because it's free. Yeah, exactly. You're not paying mm -hmm. for it. <laughs> I know. Cool. All right. Uh, is your monthly allowance enough to live in Korea? Um, I would say that it depends on the city and it depends on the university that, that you're in. So right now I'm in Daegu and I would say that it's enough or even more than enough, right? But for I know that for some of my friends that are in Busan, it might not be enough because of right. how things are run in their university. So because some universities demand that you pay for cafeteria and eat at the cafeteria. So it might be different for universities. So but it is sufficient for you to survive. Definitely. Good. All right. Uh, uh, let's talk about the talk, talk about the language program uh, at, at Daegu University. Yes. So, um, how is the program? Is it good? Oh, amazing! I love it. How are the <laughs> teachers? The teachers. Oh my gosh! I was scared for no damn reason. That's all I'm gonna say. The teachers are amazing because they're up to date with like all the recent trends, and they know countries you know so the oh, chances yeah. that they know your country is there 
So it's just amazing. I love yeah, it. They're pros, yeah. yeah. I have I've heard a lot uh good things about the, the teachers at Daegu University. Yeah, they are amazing. Because yeah. I have I've had uh I have GKS uh scholars mm -hmm. studying their Korean language at Daegu University. Yeah, the, all of them say yeah, their teachers are amazing. Amazing. As well as their uh, program curriculum. Yes. Mm -hmm. Top notch. Yeah. But uh, starting next year, actually, you cannot choose the uh, the uh, university for your language program. Actually. Oh, we never got to choose ours as well. Yeah, but the thing is, it's random, right? Yeah. The thing is, uh, starting next year, let's say uh, if you choose uh, SNU for yeah. your degree program, yes. then you you have to study Korean there. Oh. Yeah, things will I change. I wouldn't complain if if I was doing <laughs> a language in SNU. But SNU? oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's more convenient for the yeah. students so they don't have yeah. to move on. Yes, yes, yes. Because my previous roommate was doing her language year here, but she had to move to Seoul, and yeah. it was pretty inconvenient. And I will sure face that soon. But yeah, oh my gosh. No. Well, on the other hand, you know, you you can you can experience uh, that's what what Daegu people do. That's true. I'm right? I will miss Daegu, and I will come yeah. back definitely. Yes. Yeah, there, there are always good things and bad things, you know. Yes, true. Yeah, yeah. Be positive. All right. Two more questions. Uh, so, what are your plans after finishing your BA program? So, I want to uh, dive into my university straight away to get experience. So it could either be here in Korea or in any other country. But then after that, I want to do my master's and just, you know, learn, expand from my field. So, In yeah, Korea? Yeah, yeah. Try, try GKS, GKSG? Oh, yes. If I get the, you, you know, this is my motto and that goes for everyone. You never know what you're capable of until you try. If you would have told me that I would have gotten this scholarship, I would have told you that you there is no way, you know, but I tried you know, and I'm here. Know. So if you try, don't be shy. Just try. You have nothing to lose other than the time you wasted on trying it, you know? You never know until you try. Yes. So, okay. yeah. You keep trying. I will. All right. So study harder. Yes, true. And know yourself. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Okay, one last question. Uh, would you please say a few encouraging words to our studying Korea dreamers? Yes. So, like I said, you never know what you're capable of until you try. You're going to be very nervous about applying and everything. And if you can't contact anyone that has or is a GK student that's even amazing. I know that there are many uh, platforms on Facebook for GKSGs and videos, watch videos on YouTube, like <laughs> from Mr. College Concerts. <laughs> yeah, they help and it's very helpful. And just don't be shy, just try, because you have nothing to lose, actually. And what? When you arrive here and you're learning Korean, make sure you more uh, study well your vocabulary. Make sure you, once you're able to engage in a conversation, do engage with your fellow students that are learning it and expose yourself to Korean content as much as possible, whether it's K-dramas, webtoons, movies, even it listen there was this time i changed my whole like my phone main language to korean oh. i almost you know deleted important stuff but my point my my point is just expose yourself to korean language and and you'll get there you know take your risk take your chance because you never know you just jump 
and from there you freestyle okay did you accidentally delete uh, some important stuff because it was written in korean <laughs> almost but i didn't <laughs> that was close thank goodness i was i was i was still back in my country and i just i thought that i knew enough korean from the yonsei course but i forgot that i was a beginner so i did it and then i i just it just lasted for one day just one day the next one i was like no 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 this is not for me but then yeah now i can do it so it's amazing yonsei, yonsei is pretty bad for for many reasons <laughs> Oh my gosh <laughs> we love you Yonsei, by the way we love you we love you yeah don't get us wrong yeah true true okay uh thanks for all the valuable tips today uh it's very uh impressive and motivating definitely always here to motivate people this is katie <laughs> all right everyone this is katie this is katie <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Yeah. You're welcome, everyone. Okay, uh, that's it for today, everyone. Um, as I said before, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Where is the notifications? Here, here. I don't know, but somewhere. I think here, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, but please, please do, and I'll make sure to share more valuable information with you. With our beloved JKS scholars. Yes. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Now, enjoy your stay. Bye bye. <laughs>